Hello there, and good afternoon, everybody. Uh, hello there, I am Yormovich Nicholson, and uh, hello there, people of the Alisaita uh, Anglican. Folks, the fans of Fensida, folks of Fingers Half, and my brothers and sisters of Fingers Half. Today, uh, I'm coming on to uh, talk a bit about uh, the last few passing bots. Well, uh, the one you mainly would have seen live on, well, on video is my uh, Arasite uh, Funor Kimblot. So I'm, uh, I've come on just to talk about mainly what the time of year is about. Uh, what the time of year is about, time of wheel is about. Uh, a lot of these stories, well, race was pretty much up front, and uh, you read two brilliant stories yesterday, and I was like, uh, uh, fun or kin, but. Uh, so, but I might go over one of those stories again today, because the reading I actually read was a bit different to how Reese told it, so I'll go over that again and just explain what the time is about. So Fun or Block clearly is the time of Wheel of Fun or. It's said it's the time when we get hard, life-giving rains, just bear with me a second, I've got a... <coughs> I've got, I've just not long woke up, so... Uh, I'm a bit drizzly, but anyway, time of the life giving rains, time where funnel helps helps water our crop as we head into the festival of harvest. Laugh blots, Wedman off, known by the month name, moon name, Wedman off, and the time of harvest. So, uh, yes. So, we are now on Fun or Block. So, what is Fun or Block? Fun or Block is the time, like I said, of Fun or. Uh, Reese obviously read out two very good stories. One being the one where Luca thought it would be funny to remove uh, Sib's hair. Uh, corn, uh, I'd say Cornish is in Harvest Corn like hair that provides us also with crop and the time of harvest is at the next moon and at the Arasaita I know she's not really mentioned in uh, at Lingus Half but in Arasaita uh, Kim Block she will be mentioned in the reading because we believe she, well here we believe she's known as Seab it's known in Norse as Sif in Anglo-Saxon but in Anglo-Saxon we know her as Seab very few resources know as Seab. So, uh, Reese told that story very well. Uh, it's on fun or we get a lot of thunderstorms uh, when the air is very humid and uh, when the days have been very warm. And these thunderstorms call gives a lot, of, when we say the law of giving rains, they call our lands down. Like, uh, like what's well known for this time of year. In summer, it's nice of the odd thunderstorm to get temperatures back to a realistic, uh, to a realistic temperatures. So uh, you know, it's a bit easier to breathe and you know do your daily things. So we thankful more for that. Uh, we give oh, well, I would say uh, for looking black, we give uh, a. Uh, in Sidhu, uh, we give uh, a first ash sign, we give a first ash rune over flying to Funor to ask for uh, you know protection about the sort of free storm of wheel against uh, the Utton Guard, against uh, Know, dangerous conditions uh, for elements of healing which he said can be known to do uh, we also cast out an FG uh, the FG at Klingus Half was done at, uh, at Lifferblot when we uh, honoured Sinner uh, 
But uh, uh, I, well, yesterday at Arasite, Kim Black, we felt it's better to do it at uh, Funnel Black. Because then Funnel can, uh, you know, he deals with the uh, with the Yachtan, the Yachtan Guard forces and the Yachtan, some we didn't get there. And we thought he might help us with the Utten Guard issue here when we cast out the F key. Uh, so I felt it'd be better to cast it out to the flame uh, at Funnel Black, which uh, in the past we have done at King's Half on Funnel Black, but I think uh, around the blot uh, uh, Chris wanted to do it at uh, Liffa this year. So uh, yeah, but this time is also known as uh, Iraf. After Liffa, meaning after Liffa, I think I've got a bunch of that pronunciation. Uh, uh, and this is like it's it's basically the opposite end of the world to a uh, Yale, opposite end, modernly known as January. July is the opposite end to January. Where in the land down under, this time would be known as Aethra Yaila if you are an Anglican in the lands of Australia or New Zealand. Or uh, Brazil, I think Brazil counts as that area as well, doesn't it? I think Brazil counts as some hemisphere or Brazil. So uh, I might be wrong, but yeah. Uh, so if you're down there then uh, and you're, uh, you're on this path, happy uh, Aethra uh, Yaila to you guys. Uh, but yeah, uh, but yeah. So the funnel block we give away the F G as you would have seen on the video. We uh, we we burnt it to the flame and cast it out. We let that burn on the flame before offering the uh, first ash, which we would always hold up as we sound up and, uh, you know, when he, uh, he acknowledged it to Fumor, so the gods knew, and they both burned the tree. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I'm going to read, uh, again, my version what well, I actually wrote, because Reese read it in his own way. Uh, I'm going to read my version of Funnel's trip to uh, I'm going to uh, yeah, I'm going to read my version of Funnel's trip to Uttengard, Reese knew it as Uttengard, but the, the name of the Saxon is actually Uttengard, which I didn't really want to jump in and not explain to him while he was doing the block because he was leading it and I didn't want to tread on his toes too much. And you know, because it is the funnel's block, I did say could be his block. I have a sight of Kim Block. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, get to the top I'm actually hovering over the story Okay, so here we go. While Funnel and Luca were travelling from Ossengard, obviously now it might be known as Asgard, in Funnel's goat's drawn chariot, night overtook them and they were welcomed in, into the house of a farmer and his family in Middengadda to repay his hosts for their hospitality. Funnel offered his goats for supper, knowing that he could bring them back to life afterwards, as Reese explained that part more uh, detailed in the block. So be sure to see, to actually watch the block. It is up and ready to uh, to watch. 
and not be at any loss after the meal. Funnel laid the goat's hides on the floor and instructed his hosts to place the bones on the hides after the meat had gland from them. The farmer had two children, a boy named Fiafi and a daughter named Ros Roskova. That's what they said, but they're the, uh, obviously the, uh, the Icelandic, well, you know, the more Scandinavian names. I couldn't actually get an uh, old English equivalent for them. Uh, despite the Thunder God's instructions, uh, Fiafi broke open one of the goat's leg bones to suck out the marrow before placing it on the hide with the others, which obviously messed his goat up bad. When Funnel awake, awoken the following morning, he hallowed the goat's hides and bones of his hammer, whereupon the goat sprang back to life. One of them, however, had a lame hind leg. Funnel immediately, immediately uh, knew the reason for this and was so furious at the farmer and his family that he would have slain them all on the spot. Had the, had the farmer not offered him his children, Fiafi and Rosvika, to be servants to Funnel. Funnel accepted, and he and Luca and the children pressed onwards on foot, leaving the handicapped goat, leaving the handicapped goat behind. The party's goal was to reach Yottenham. The land of the giants. They crossed an ocean. Now, again, this is a story we told yesterday, but I've changed. So I've actually found some of the words in old English. They crossed an ocean and a thick, tangled forest. Just as night was falling, they came to a huge hall, a huge fortress like hall. They found no one inside and decided to spend the night there. They were just. They were jostled awake by a great earthquake. Running outside, they found a sleeping giant whose snores caused the earth to rumble and shake. Funnel, who hated giants, clutched his hammer and resolved to smite this, this sure foe of his. But the giant aw awoken at the last second and screamed to be cheered, or at least amused, by the sight of Funnor and his companions, the giant introduced himself as Skoy Skormir, Old Norse Skormir, Boaster, which also means Boaster, there probably is an old English word for that, but I haven't looked it up yet, uh, but said that he already knew full well to whom he was introducing himself. After he accompanied them to Uttengard, so he led them the rest of the way to Uttengard. There was no way in, but Funnor and his companions were small enough to fit through a big, uh, for the big gaps in the door. This led to Uttengard Hall, where Uttengard the Ottens was at all feasting. Head of the table and leader was Uttengard Luca, who recognised them and taunted them for their sorries. Luca boasted that no Yotun could feast faster than him, and like Reese uh, explained yesterday, uh, in response, Uttengard Luca challenged him to this. The victor was Uttengard Luca. Uh, like Reese said yesterday, uh, they feasted their way down the table. Luca was at the end. Uttengard Luca was at the end when uh, Trickster Luca, well, he probably wasn't even halfway. Fiafi, the Midgardian, wished, or the Midgardian, wished to race one of the Yotten Uttengard. Uh, wished to race one of the Yotten. Uttengard Luca appointed uh, Hugi, also known as as uh, Fot, Fot, Fot in Old English, what means fort. So uh, Fot, not to be uh, mixed up with that uh, modern word that's uh, used in the meme. Uh, for uh, for uh, a slot, oh, I'll just say it the way it is. Uh, Fort in Old English means fort. 
so uh, Fox gained another victory for the Hutton Guard. Uh, so when they were racing, uh, again, uh, Fiafi didn't even get the Mid Guardian didn't even get half. Mid, Mid Guardian didn't even get halfway, and Fox uh, was uh, was pretty much at, was well was at the end was pretty much finished the race. Uh, Funnel after three attempts at drinking at a drinking challenge could not finish the Uttengard horn. Instead, Uttengard Luca challenged Funnel to lift his joint links. So basically, uh, there was a drinking challenge. Uh, Funnel had three attempts and could not finish the horn. It was too big, there was too much inside it. Uh, so, uh, again, that was a challenge Funnel could not do. Uh, by the way, there are twists to these stories, so uh, the gods are looking pretty defeated, but there is a huge twist to these uh, challenges, by the way, which Reese actually also announced in, uh, well, of course, he's going to announce when he recited it in uh, the funnel block yesterday. Uh, and then uh, he had to lift the joint cap. Funnel, you know, he was then challenged to lift... Uh, Supposedly, uh, Uttengard Luca's uh, joint cat. Uh, well, it would have been in the form of a joint lynx. Uh, again, Funnel could not do this. Uh, Funnel was enraged and challenged, uh, and challenged any Yotten to wrestle with him. Uttengard Luca appointed a crown lord Yotten. Said to be his grandmother, as he appointed her from what. Uh, Laird man uh, Reese Nicholson, uh, Little Bayon said yesterday. Uh, I'm not going to state a name because it'll give away the twist, but if for any uh, have watched the uh, block, you will know anyway. Uh, well, I was stating Norse, her name is Ellie. I'm not going to say what her name means yet, or old English name will give it away as well. Uh, after Uttengard Lucas said no more, well, obviously, yes, he wrestled the uh, the crown lord lady, and of course, he, uh, he funnel fell to his knee, and the old uh, crown like Yotten was victorious. After this, Uttengard Lucas said no more contest, and funnel Luca and the mid guardian kids was invited to stay the night. The next morning, they set to depart. Nuttingard Luca seen them out the door of their fortress of Nuttingard. Said Funnel will never be welcome at their fort again, at their fortress again. The challenges they faced had twists. Funnel wished to know why he couldn't beat them. Uh, Trickster Luca's eating challenge turned out to be fire itself, as we stated yesterday in the black. Fiaffi raced against the element, uh, the element of uh, fort. So uh, the Yotten that the Midgardian race was actually fort. Uh, the element of fort. Uh, again, uh, Reese would have mentioned this yesterday. Uh, Funnel drank the uh, half the ocean of Midgarder, half of probably Wadders Hall. Uh, again. Reese very well stated that in the, in the resort of Funnel Block yesterday. And of course, uh, the, the joint Lynx Cats was actually Eormen and M, Eormen Gander in disguise, the uh, Midgard Serpent. Uh, and he, he, he lifted half his body out of the sea. Uh, what, well, what was left after he drank it? Uh, Eormengand is actually known as Eormengand in, in Old Frisian. Uh, and then last but not least, he's fought against the crown. Her name is actually Arj in Old English, meaning age, Ellie. The name Ellie uh, is actually a Scandinavian name for age. Uh, so next time you meet a girl called Ellie, that's what it means to Scandinavian, and it is actually spelled E W O E. Uh, 
and uh, you know Funnel actually did really well he took quite a long time to fall to Adge uh, so uh, you know what some guy Lucas said he was uh, he was actually stunned with how well they did against the challenges uh, and after that he uh, he said you never to return to Hudson Guard Fortress uh, he weren't he was he was actually quite scared of how well they actually done with the challenges although they didn't completely beat them uh, as Funnel went to smash uh, the Uttengard Fortress to bits and kill Uttengard Luca, the fort and the Ottens had gone and vanished like it never existed. It turned around, it was just a clear space where the uh, Uttengard Fortress originally was. So, yeah, that's the uh, story of uh, Funnel and uh, Trickster Luca and the uh, meeting with uh, the big guardians uh, accompanied him and then they all went to, uh, to, uh, to Uttengard Fortress to uh, the Fortress of the Giants and did the many challenges so yes and that's the story, one of the stories that uh, uh, Loud Man, Reese Nicholson, uh, Little Bay Orm also recited yesterday. The other one was the story, if you watch it, of when uh, Luca cut Sib's hair. One of our harvest goddesses, and also the width of Funnel. And he had to go and get the gifts from the Dwarves, the Dwarfs. And uh, it resulted with Luca having his mouth sewn shut because uh, he failed all of the odd bets. Although he did come back with Sean we guess, and the Dweorgs and had the Dweorgs uh, as Chris. My elder blot here stated at this past funnel block, uh, the Dweorgs are actually a race again, like like we in our faith believe, us mid guardian mid and guardians. Uh, they were also created by the gods. They were a race created by the gods. And uh, they are the only beings pro uh, probably have you know, the godly elements of smithing uh, uh, alongside Wayland the Smith. Wayland the Smith is going to be mentioned in the uh, in the next Arasite of Kim block, by the way, for uh, Halaf block, Beowa. It's mainly aimed at Beowa, but there are other harvest gods in it as well that help with the time of year. Uh, and I've got them all written down, I've got the reading ready for the next block. So Halaf Blots, in the, in the month name for it is Wedman Off, obviously. We mean in modernly Weedman Off, Weed Month and not the drug weed. It's in the weeds that give harvest, spread, stuff like that, because you can get them with. And it's, uh, it's known as Wedman Off, the time of harvest for the Old English. So yeah. Uh, it's... Uh, it was a great, fantastic block yesterday, and I like coming on to do these, uh, these, uh, I'll call them the Yeoman Witch Talks. Uh, and I don't do them as often as I used to, but I like to come on and, like, explain to you guys a bit about that. Because I know, well, I was talking to my cousin, who's now a halfman, uh, I don't know his old English name, meaning in old English, uh, meaning, uh, means, uh, what does, oh, valley, it means valley, because Dan actually means valley in Old English, and in Scandinavian it's short for half Dan, according to my research, uh, it is, Daniel is also uh, originally a Hebrewic name, but it has got its uh, Germanic views as well, so, uh, yeah, but anyway, the reason I mention that is because down uh, my cousin uh, Denu, who's now a horseman, has been watching back, and these videos have been really helping him, as he's uh, recently found uh, his his way, his path to be the Angle King as well. And we're very glad to have him on board. Uh, so I know, like Denu, like Dan, there are probably people that watch these videos back and actually really benefit from them. So. 
from time to time I will come on, I will do them and I will explain, you know, and I can talk about any subject of the path, even something as simple as uh, the sword of the time of period, you know, a way of third of some sort, I can talk about way of just anything basic. Uh, comment in the comments if there's a particular thing you want me to talk about in the, uh, in the ways of Anakin or uh, Germanic ways. So, uh, yeah, uh, I don't mind if you stick something in the comments, give me an idea, uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you if I can. Yeah, so uh, there's a couple of ideas there, guys. Let me know what you want me to talk about. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it for today. So that is pretty much for all black. Trying to think, I missed out on the thing. Ah, oh, yes, part of the uh, the sidu, uh, what we did at Klingus Half. The sidu wasn't as uh, wasn't as big as uh, what we did at our site at Kimblock at Klingus Half. We also uh, we passed around the manet. We held the mallet up. Uh, both blocks, may I add, and uh, we uh, we give hail and uh, homage and worship to Funor. It's a very quick sidu, so if you haven't got an offering, like at uh, the first, that's what you give to Funor over the flame. It can just be as simple as raising your mallet, what you hallow with, and just uh, giving thanks and words of uh, honour to Funor. And uh, we actually did that in both blocks, so. Uh, that went really well, and hopefully we will get uh, a nice blessing from fun all this moon. So yeah, there we go. That's pretty much it. Uh, I'm Eorman Rich Nicholson, and I'm going to start calling these little shows uh, Eorman Rich uh, Path Talks. It's just uh, it's got a nice jingle to it. Eorman Rich Path Talk. Eorman Rich. Uh, the Yorman Rich Talks of Our Ways, actually, I like that, I'll call it the Yorman Rich Talks of Our Ways. So, uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Anyway, I'm the Yorman Rich Nicholson. Uh, her weird of the Anasaita Kimblots and Lairdman of the Klingus Half. Uh, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to thank you, whoever watches back. I hope, uh, hope this video has helped some you understand a bit more about fun or blot. Thank you. See you later. May we have the honour to be, the wisdom to know, the knowledge to care. As the forebears did, so shall we. Thank you. See you later.